I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and today I'm looking at the accuracy of the calorie tracking on the Fitbit Charge 5 smartwatch. So that's one of the functions the Fitbit Charge 5 can do. It tracks your calories and actually looks at two different things. One is your basal metabolic rate. That's how many calories you burn just sitting there doing nothing, just breathing, brain functions, the basic activities um, that your body's performing burns a certain number of calories. And that's based on age, weight, uh, biological gender. When you enter those things into the Fitbit app, it will um, calculate and tell you in the day how many calories you've burned as your basal metabolic rate. Also, it's gonna calculate based on your movement, how many calories you've burned from walking and moving around, your heart rate, it's got heart rate sensors so it can tell whether your heart rate has increased. It's gonna take all that data and figure out how many calories you've burned through activities. So basal metabolic rate, calories your body burns just sitting there, um, plus your activity burns calories It'll combine those and give you a calorie uh, score for the day, how many calories you've burned. Um, that's the good news. The not as great news is that uh, it's accurate in terms of tracking relative day to day. You know, this day I burn more, this day I burn fewer, but uh, it's only about 30% um, within 30% uh, of the true value. If you take a fitness tracker like the Fitbit Charge 5 and compare it to very scientific means of tracking calorie burn, it's about 30% um, around there. So it's not 100% accurate. It's not that it's 30% accurate, but it's you know, plus or minus around that 30% range, the true value. So if you're trying to figure out the exact number of calories and count them you know, perfectly throughout the day, it's not accurate enough to do that. Again, it's a good ballpark, but there is a fair amount of wiggle room um, in that 30% around the true calorie value that you've burned. However, what it is great for is tracking uh, relative calorie burn day to day. So if on Monday I burned X amount, on Tuesday I burned more or less, that's gonna be pretty consistent uh, day to day. So if you're looking for your absolute calorie burn ballpark, um, useful to have that. But if you're looking to compare, it's a very good function for doing that here on the Fitbit Charge 5. So not super accurate calorie counting, uh, but still a useful function if you're trying to see day to day, relatively speaking, how many calories you burn from basal metabolic plus your activity levels.